say something before we start our children's video today but I just wanted to talk to you as a family and ask you to pray this week has been tough for so many people there is so much good in this time but also it is getting very very clear that it is so tough for people we lose people we can't see people we're away from family and it can be really really difficult so I am asking you now to pray I'm giving you some tips because actually if you haven't prayed before or if this is something that your family hasn't done then it can be quite difficult and that's why I want to talk to you before we start our children's slot today. Now we ask our children to do all sorts of things don't we? We ask them to go and tidy up, we ask them to do their homework, we ask them to do these incredible things like learning history and science and maths. Teaching our children to pray could be the most important thing in this time. We need to teach them and help them though. It is hard for us sometimes too. So obviously it is going to be hard for our children. God wants to hear your prayers though. And I want you to know that. I want you to know that God wants to hear from us. Your children praying is just as important as prayers from the pastor of your church. And actually I want to tell you a little secret now. Adults, we have the insecurities in talking to God. We have the insecurities and doubts about whether he's going to answer. Children don't. Think about all the things they say without even thinking. They're so beautiful and perfect. That is what their relationship is like with God. Don't be fearful to ask them to pray to God this week. We need a battle plan when we are praying to God at the moment. This is a war. What we are going through is a really difficult time and we need God to fight this battle with us. And I want to tell you a few things about how amazing this book really is. The Bible was written by 40 different authors. If we read a book, usually it's by one and everything they say links together. Now, I don't know if you know what a prophecy is, but a prophecy is something that is said that then later comes true. And in the Bible, there is 300 prophecies. 61 of them relate to Jesus. Now, the probability of a man fulfilling eight prophecies in, is one in 10 17th. Now, I am putting the number of what that actually means here. So just to um, give you another way of looking at that massive number is that I have a pound coin here and it would be like me covering the entire UK in pound coins up to 65 centimetres deep, colouring one of these in blue and randomly pasting it somewhere in the UK and then blindfolding someone and letting them try and find the blue coin. It's almost impossible, yet Jesus made it possible. This is the Jesus and the Son of God that we are praying to. Guys, this isn't, this isn't just talking to each other. This is talking to someone who can do something about what is going on. And I really, really want to urge you guys to pray this week and get it into your routine. Whether it's as a family or it's on your own, guys, I really, really am asking you guys at home to pray this week. Now, let's get on with some QRBC Kids. <laughs> place in your house or outside that is new and exciting for your children. 
try and fill it with really cool things like cushions or pillows or teddies that actually makes it like a really really safe space and then add a few things one a bible or a kids bible and two just a few prompts to pray make it like a war room a really good thing with making a den is that we need a good base so this could be a table it could be a couple of chairs but we have a what is it Goal pose! A few things here. Why is that? Pillows. Up over the top, put the chair in there. Okay, we're going to try this one first. I want to and tell you something to about our little yet. tent, okay? No, that was our side. This, this is called a prayer tent, okay? Yay. When we pray, who are we praying to? God. A few I'm, people. I'm making the cross. Oh yeah, perfect. You make Can I just people. make a bit more long? Yeah, go on then. We need a really long this washing line for cross. this one. That's a brilliant cross. I like that. That is a really good and reminder. And it looks like a person. It looks really good. Well, look, let's put Jesus in it. I pray for, let me think. Who, who could we pray for? Give Otis. Me, Otis, good prayer. I it. So every time we pray for someone, we're going to put a new block on top of our tower so it grows. I'm handing all of them on there. Right, another Anyone thing. Heard? Look at me. Well done. It's like a fishing line. Should we do this? Wilfie, we want to say thank you to God for a few things. Ah. What could we thank God for? Thank you, building our Thank you for home school. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness. I will follow you, oh, my lighthouse. My lighthouse, I will trust the promise, and you will carry me safe to shore. Safe to shore. Good singing. And right, tell me one thing about God. He's brave. He's brave. Uh, why is I love that. that.